How's it going, YouTube? Chris here at my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this afternoon. Uh, took a day off of work today. Just I've been on a little bit under the weather, allergies or something. So I took the day off and doing a little bit of resting. Um, I did go pick out some carpet today. Hopefully I'll have it the weekend. So we're gonna get this room tied up. Hopefully the weekend, first of next week, as far as getting carpet in. I have to run mold in and stuff, but uh, but yeah, we'll we'll get that taken care of um, this weekend, hopefully. But what I wanted to talk with you guys about is uh, it's been a big topic of discussion ever since yesterday, and it is this movie right here, Top Gun Maverick. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I heard. Let me just set this down. I heard a reviewer, and I won't call names. I have a lot of respect for all the guys that review on, on YouTube and stuff, but you know, I heard uh, something that he said, and uh, I heard people on the uh, on Facebook movie groups that I belong to, and they were all posting about it. And some of the guys said, "Oh, I'm glad I didn't waste my money buying this movie," and I was going to post a long post about how I. Even though I want to review movies, uh, I really it's just an opinion. And a lot of a lot of guys, some of the reviewers, I know they have top tier equipment, but it's still a matter of opinion. Now, I went and saw this movie in the theaters, and I had a pretty good idea of how this movie was gonna be when it came to physical media. Now, am I partial to this movie? Yes. Uh, it is, <laughs> it's, it might be my favorite movie of all time. And uh, the movie is just phenomenal. Uh, it's, just, it's just good. Love the first Top Gun. It's always one of my, you know, kind of one of my favorite movies. But this one, it just, to me, it surpassed it. Especially in the stunts, uh, the, the, the visuals and how they did the uh, in cockpit cameras and stuff. It just was so more realistic and a lot better 30 years later. So am I partial to it? Yes, and I knew how it was gonna be. So um, I heard the reviewer say it, it could have been more base, could have been this and that and the other. So I was just like, whatever, you know, I'm gonna be the judge of this. Um, so of course, when the movie came in, uh, Monday, uh, I popped it in, and from the moment it started, I said, This is going to be incredible, and I was not disappointed. The visuals of this movie is, is awesome. Now, I'm still running a 1080p projector, I have an Epson 5025 UB, it's, it's a very, very, very good 1080p projector. And the picture that it produces is phenomenal. And uh, as far as that goes, uh, I'll, I'll pan this camera around in a minute and I'll show you what Top Gun looks like in, in my theater. Uh, but I was blown away with the picture and I was blown away, especially with the sound. Now, I know everybody's been reporting, could have been more hype channels, but I just listened to another reviewer and he, he was exactly right. Sometimes you don't need all the hype channels. I'm running six hype channel speakers right now, but when everything works together, it just, it just, it just sounds good. It's just hard to explain. Um, there's not nothing that's specifically coming from one speaker or whatever. And I've seen a lot of people use those, uh, especially guys with the trend offs. They used, uh, they can actually watch the sound with the, uh, uh, what is it, the, it's the little program that they got, the uh, Atmos Viewer or Sound Viewer or whatever it's called, and, and that's pretty cool. But I'm telling you guys, and I know, look, I ain't telling y'all nothing y'all don't know. This movie is awesome. Um, so I guess the point of this video, just, just I want to talk about the movie because the movie the disc, it, it to me, it's reference quality. I mean, demos, oh yeah, 
I mean, I've got some go-to discs. You know, Ready Player One is a, is is a, is a, is a must. Uh, I like using um, Hunger Games Catching Fire because of there's there's just so much surround and stuff effects in it that's good. I like using Kong versus Godzilla because there's a lot of ambient sound and, and jungle stuff. Uh, there's movies I go to, but Top Gun Maverick it will be part of my demo. It probably be the first thing I pop in is like, hey, check this scene, check this scene. There's a lot of demo worthiness in Top Gun Maverick. It is his phenomenal movie. Um, but I guess, uh, you know, don't don't listen to reviewers, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I'm probably gonna end up doing some reviews on movies because I posted it on the community tab if you hadn't seen it already. I do, I, I do have a 4K projector on the way. I got an Optima, it's a UHD 38, it's 4K, so, uh, and I got confirmation <clears throat> just, just right before I started this video that they've shipped it. So at least I got a tracking number. So hopefully by the end of the week, man, we're gonna be tying this theater up good now. I mean, we'll just have a 4K projector, we can have the carpet in, and uh, and we're we, we gonna, we gonna be on a roll now. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get this 4K projector in. Uh, I'm probably going to do some reviews on some movies because I, I, I am a movie fanatic. Guys, I've done a video and showed y'all my collection. It is it's getting crazy. <laughs> so, some of my friends is like, hey, you got enough movies? I'm like, nope. I got more on pre-order. I got more coming. I just, I like movies, guys. And, uh, I mean, it all goes together. You got to love movies to have a home theater. You got to love home theater. You, What's the purpose of having a home theater if you don't love movies? So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's salt and pepper or whatever you want to call it. I mean, you got you got to gotta love it, and I love it. So I'm probably going to be doing some reviews. But, I mean, you can, you take a review, and this is how I take it. I take it for a grain of salt. Now, sometimes I've listened to reviews, and I'm like, I, I totally agree. This movie sucks, or the sound's not there. They missed it or or, or something. And, uh, but then sometimes I listen to it and just totally, I don't know, seems like they missed it. So maybe higher expectations. And if it don't quite meet that, they're let down. I don't know. But I take all reviews as a grain of salt and you guys do too now. And I mean, I've seen some talk bad about movies and people people don't go buy them because of that and i know a lot of a lot of times uh you guys um listen to these reviews to see if you want to go buy the movie and i think sometimes we miss out because we listen to other people uh, like i say when i start doing reviews um it's gonna be you know, hey, you can take it, take my word for it. You can go, you know, check it out for yourself or whatever. That's, uh, and guys, I apologize. I'm trying to, my, my 4K player is acting funny. That's that's going to be the next thing on my list is the new 4K player. I'm running the Sony, what's it, uh, U, UPX 800, and I got the first gen, and it's been acting up here lately, freezing up and stuff, so I don't know what the deal is with it. I'm gonna get a Panasonic, uh, the 9000 is what I want. My sister bought one and I want one, so. But anyway, y'all y'all, y'all really take these uh, reviews for a grain of salt and uh, be your own judge. Um, you, can, you can listen to the reviewers, listen to me when I talk and, uh, and then if you want, you still wanna go buy the movie, buy the movie. I mean, don't, don't not buy a movie that you would normally buy just because somebody said, hey, this ain't no good. Just like, <laughs> I probably get a lot of bad comments about this. These people, these people talk, talk pure tea trash about the Terminator 2. I mean, the transfer, I mean, I thought it looked good to me, but but I'm not, I'm not critiquing because it's not absolutely perfect. I like the movie and I'll just, you know, it is what it is. So, I mean, there's, 
<laughs> I probably will get some heat for that one, but I mean, I do think it was it was it wasn't bad. I've got the original 4K version, and I got the 4K the steel book that came out. I think it's the same transfer, but it looks fine to me, guys. But everybody in there, and I don't know if I don't know if somebody in the industry said, "Hey, this sucks," and then everybody's jumped on the bandwagon, or is it really that bad that everybody thinks it's that bad? I don't know, guys. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. I'm happy with it. And uh, if they come out with another version, another car, I'll buy it again. So that's just me. I'm a movie collector. But uh, I don't want nobody. I don't want anybody to take what I'm saying the wrong way. I mean, everybody has an opinion. I have an opinion. Other reviewers, other YouTubers, they have opinions. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot, a lot more positivity about this Top Gun Maverick than I thought the, the more people are more positive than negative but I don't see how you can be negative about the picture and the sound quality on, on this disc it is it's, it's, it's second to none I mean it to me it is probably <coughs> one of the best if not the best in my opinion it is I heard somebody else say the same thing and I agree I agree with them uh, Ten thousand percent. It's just it's a phenomenal movie. Um, and transfer disc sound whatever. It's all good. So anyway, guys, uh, haven't really done anything in here. I will paint the camera around. And we'll talk about the room a little bit. I think we're gonna run this uh, run this other stuff in the ground. But I did just just kind of get everything cleaned out of here. I ain't just a few little things here and there. Basically, got all my tools out here. Set my set my drill and uh, cleaned up everything. All the speakers are clean now, cleaned up the subwoofers. I mean, it's, uh, it's it's ready. It's ready for carpet. I'll probably have to do, I'll probably do another sweeping and, and maybe a vacuum in the corners and stuff before I put the carpet down. But it's definitely coming. And guys, I wish, man, I wish my, my player here hadn't messed up, froze up, but golly, because I wanted to, I wanted to show you guys. Let's see if I can still talk to you. Find this thing. I think that's the cord right there. It is. All right. So uh, we'll start this movie over, hopefully. And uh, I would like to show you a, a picture, even even on my even on my 1080p projector. It is. It's playing a 4K. It's playing a 4K disc, but it's down. Uh, converting it to 1080p because of the the uh, projector. So I'll try to get this thing back up and going, but we'll get out a minute to boot up. But yeah, I mean everything is is looking good. It's, uh, it's definitely a lot cleaner in here. Um, thinking about doing some some things different at uh. We'll talk about that later. I meant to get me some, <laughs> while I was at Lowe's, I meant to get me some covers for my stuff and I didn't do that. I gotta get that done too. So, oh, come on now. I'm trying to get this thing started here. I hate to drag the video out, but uh, still waiting. Uh, waiting on my direct live. Uh, did not send a register to get my to get my uh, licensing for my for the direct live. I mean, that software is not for everybody, so you have to have the, you have to register it, and I didn't do it. So now I'm, I'm behind the eight ball, waiting for uh, that to register, to get my code, to get my, what did I do? <laughs> so I'm still waiting on my code. I got, I got stuff downloaded in in uh, my laptop. Uh, I got my calibration microphone. So, I mean, I got the Emotiva one and I got my, my U mic. So, I mean, I'll probably use the Emotiva mic and then uh, I'll use my U mic when I run my RAW for my mini DSP. I uh, still got to get all that hooked up, but I want I got it hooked up. Uh, I got to wait. I wanted to wait till I get my direct live run and then we will uh, run that 
and uh, hopefully have this thing done, which I mean, it's probably gonna work out good because I, I mean, I can run direct live two or three times, I guess, but I wanted to kind of get it situated, you know, even before I get my carpet in and that way I can see what the difference is, get a measurement now versus a measurement when, uh, uh, when I get my carpet in, I like to see what the difference would be. There's not, there's a little bit of a echo, echo, you hear that? Just a little bit in here now. Um, I figured it'd be a lot more, but there's not. So curious to see, you know, definitely when, you know, when we uh, get the carpet in, how it's gonna sound, how it's gonna do. So bear with me just a minute, guys. This thing, we're trying to get it ready to start here. So I'm trying to ramble a little bit. And uh, it's going. But I want y'all to see how good this is. I mean, it is phenomenal, guys. I'm, I'm definitely amazed at this movie. Definitely amazed. Come on, play. There we go. Still going to take it a minute. Yep. But, so, the room don't look too bad with the lights on in here. If I turn the lights off, it don't look too bad. Running the LED lights. I do, I do turn them off on the movies. You know, so there's the dark screen. It don't look too bad. Let's, let's turn the light back on for a second. There we go, finally. Wrong light. Tell you, it looks good, guys. I mean, look at this. I mean, look how good that looks. I mean, it is phenomenal. And of course you can't. I got it turned now. I mean, look how good that picture is. Let's get some flight scenes. Taking forever. But, uh, love that scene with Iceman. There we go. Let's get through this. Look at this. I mean, man, look at this. It just looks, look, look, look at that. Look how good that looks. That's amazing, guys. And the visuals on this movie were phenomenal. And this is just a 1080p, and I wish I could get closer to even see it. I mean, look how good that looks. It's just 1080p and it still looks absolutely phenomenal. So I, I can't imagine, I really can't. I can't imagine how that 4K Optima is gonna look any better. But look at that picture. And I'm standing close to the screen. So it's, uh, guys, <laughs> make no mistake, this is a reference movie in every aspect, every aspect. So. Let me turn this camera around, guys. I done had y'all here for 20 minutes almost. That's my long video for today, guys, and I'm sorry. This video was so long. It wouldn't have been this long if I could have got things working. And I don't edit a whole lot out of my videos, just, and I just kind of talk, and, and y'all seem to like it that way. But anyway, this is my video, guys. Uh, hey, good things are coming. 4K projector, carpet's coming. Man, we're gonna have this room tied up, and then we're gonna start doing, we're gonna start going to work then. So uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, man, y'all have a good rest of the week. We'll see you again.